Mrs. Miller, we may have a problem. Well, I thought there must have been a reason you wanted to see me. Principal's a big job. I just want to say, though, it's just till June. Excuse me? Whatever the problem is, Donald just has to make it till June. Then he's off into high school. Right. If Donald can graduate from St. Nicholas, he has a better chance of getting into a good high school. And that would mean an opportunity at college. I don't see anything at this time standing in the way of his graduating with his class. Well, that's all I care about. I doubt that. Try me. I am concerned about the relationship between Father Flynn and your son. You don't say concern. What do you mean concern? That it may not be right. Well, there's something wrong with everybody, and that's all got to be forgiven. I work right there. I am concerned, to be frank, that Father Flynn may have made advances on your son. May have made. I can't be certain. No evidence? No. And maybe there's nothing to it. I think there is something to it. I think Father Flynn gave Donald that altar wine. Why would he do that? Has Donald been acting strangely? No. Nothing out of the ordinary? He's been himself. All right. Look, sister, I don't want any trouble. I don't, uh, I'm not sure you completely understand. I think I understand the kind of thing you're talking about, but I don't want to get into it. What's that? Look, I only have a few minutes, not to be disagreeing, but if we're talking about something floating around between this priest and my son, it ain't my son's fault. Oh, I'm not suggesting He's just that... a boy. I know. Twelve years old, if someone should be taking blame, it should be the I, man, not the I boy. I agree with you completely. You agree with me, but I got called to the principal, if you know what I'm I saying. I am concerned about Donald's welfare. You honestly think that priest gave Donald that wine to drink? Yes, I do. Then how come my son got kicked off the altar boys if it was a man that gave it to him? Boy got caught. The man didn't. So give my son the blame. Oh. No problem, my son getting blamed, and you know Perhaps why that you is. Should let me talk. I Sister, you ain't going against now. no man in a robe and wind. He's got the position. And he's got your son. Let him have him then. What? It's just till June. Do you know what you're saying? No more about it than you. I believe this man is creating, or may have already brought about, an improper relationship with your son. I don't know. I know. I am right. Why well, you got to know something like that for sure when you don't? What kind of mother are you? Excuse me, but you don't know enough about life to say a thing like I that, sister. I know enough. You know the rules, maybe, but that don't cover it. I know what I won't accept. You accept what you got to accept, and you work with it. This man is in my school. Well, he's got to be somewhere. Maybe he's, he's doing some good thing. After the boys. Well, maybe some of them boys want to get caught. That's why his father beat him. Not the wine. What are you telling me? I'm talking about the boy's nature now. Not anything he's done. You can't hold a child responsible for what God gave him to be. I'm only interested in actions, Mrs. Miller. But then is the boy's nature. Leave that out of it. Forget it, then. You want to force some people to say things. 
My boy came to your school because they were going to kill him in a public school. His father don't like him. You come to your school, kids don't like him. One man is good to him, this priest. Then does a man have his reasons? Yes. Everybody does. You have your reasons, but do I ask the man why he's good to my son? No. I don't care why. My son needs some man to care about him and to see him through the way he wants to go. And thank God this educated man with some kindness in him wants to do just that. This will not do. It's just till June. I'll throw your son out of this school. Why would you do that if it didn't start with him? Because I will stop this. You hurt my son to get your way. It won't end with your son. Throw the priest out then. I am trying to do just that. Then what do you want from me? Nothing. As it turns out. Please leave my son out of this. My husband will kill that child over a thing like this. I will try. I'm late. Sister. I don't know if you and me on the same side. I'll be standing with my son and those who are good with my son. It'd be nice to see you there. Good morning. 